I mean, Michael Bunting, Lapore, let's talk about him because, oh my God. He's making okay. headlines. He's making headlines. I sent out a tweet in the off season. Actually, here I we go. See, I, I want to pat myself on the back here, Lapore. This is the weekly Anthony Bruno was right. Is that what we're This was a great it? tweet. So let me find exactly when I sent the initial tweet. It was on September 29th, okay. 2021. I said, you could sign Zach Hyman to a seven-year, $38.5 million contract, or you could simply sign impending 26-goal scorer Michael Bunting for $950,000. Okay, before, so you said 26-goal scorer, you said? Yes, I said he was going to score 26 goals, and right wow. now I believe he's on pace for about 25. Okay. He's got 12 goals in 40 games, 27 points in 40 games. So he's essentially on pace for 25 goals and 55 points. Yeah, that's great. Making value. under a million dollars a year. And he's on the books next year. Next year too. For $950,000. Yeah. So you go around the league, man, and you look at the different salary cap situations, go find me a handful of players who aren't on their entry level deals who make less than $1 million a season and are producing what this guy's producing. So he, I, yeah. he's having a hell of a season. Yeah. And it's awesome for him. Cause like things haven't gone that well for him. He's had some bad luck with injuries and such. And now playing for his hometown team, playing with good players. He look, he looks happy, man. And I know that that sounds kind of cheesy, but athletes play well when they're in good spots and they're in a good mood. And that, that's how he looks. He's taking advantage of his opportunity because he feels good going to the rink every day. Yeah, and one thing I've, I've said this on previous podcasts is that when he first got a chance to play with Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner, mm. I just didn't think he fit in. I, I thought that he just wasn't on the same page with those two guys and maybe that he just wasn't good enough to play with them. But as time has gone on, you've seen the relationship specifically between Matthews and Bunting develop. Yeah, um, I believe they've gone to like Raptors games together. And again, I don't want to get into all the off ice stuff. And oh, so you, meant, you meant personal relationship. I thought you meant like their, uh, well, their, their symmetry personal on the relationship ice. and their on <laughs> ice relationship for that matter. I, I, again, I don't want to dissect like who's hanging out with who these guys are best friends and they should be playing together. But well, Matthews no. is lonely with since Anderson left. So I guess he's got to make That's up right. That His time. BFF is now in Carolina. Uh, That's a good devastating. point. Devastating. But uh, no, I, I love how bunting has been playing this season. I think he, he always finds a way to affect the game, whether it's drawing penalties, getting his nose dirty. He can play with pretty much anybody. He can play on any line. And I think he has been awesome this season. And it hasn't just been Michael Bunting. It's been a lot of the depth guys on this team. Andre Kasha, David Camp, the two-way game that he's played. Mm -hmm. Ilya Mikheyev, since coming back from his injury, has, has looked really good. So the depth on this team has been performing very, very well. Um, but yeah, man, Laporte, I mean, there's really nothing else we could say about Michael Bunting. He's having a hell of a season making under a million dollars a year. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's great. It's been great, man. I, I know we, we've already touched on this, but is there anything else you want to get off your chest about Peter Morazic, who, again, has not been playing well? Another lackluster game against Detroit. Is there anything else you want to get off your chest with Morales? No, we got to see him play more. Like, I'll have my take when I see him play more. But one thing I will say, okay, and maybe tell me if you don't think he's getting the credit he deserves. Mitch Marner is on a five-game goal streak, okay? And you ready for this stop, Bruno? Okay. With Marner in the lineup this year, the Leafs are uh, in their last 24 games are 21 and three unreal with Marner in the lineup. Wow. Big stat, man. Big stat. Some other happy stats going on in Leafland. Morgan Riley, since he signed that deal has 32 points in 32 games. Another one I dug up, but yeah, I, I, I love mean, that, you know, I'm yeah. like the captain of the Morgan Riley fan club. That's my guy. He's All having right. an awesome season, but yeah, I mean, we can go on and on about, a lot of the bright spots on the team this year.